Hey, how you doing? Happy New Year. Right, so welcome to another video. It is New Year's Day. Just show you this bit of wood here. Bit of ash I picked up. They were cutting them down. I don't know if it's got ash dieback or not. I asked them if I could have a bit and they said, yeah, no problem. They're only gonna leave it there. So we're gonna make another shave horse, but this time using only hand tools. So this piece of ash is about four foot, three inches long. I've marked down through the centre with a pen, pencil me. I'm going to try and score that with the axe and then split it down through using these wooden wedges here. Anyway, so I'll get the camera set up and we'll have a go. Cheers. Bit shaky. I think I had too much to drink, maybe. There we go. So that is hopefully the line I'm going to follow through. You're either lucky or you're not, like my brother says. So it might split kindly and it might not. It's just got to follow the grain. Anyway, let's get it led down. What a beautiful day, what a beautiful day. Morning everybody, what a day compared to yesterday. Um, it's gonna be shadow out of it. So this is the best one of the two. I'm gonna take all the bark off of the draw knife and then try and straighten this sort of bed up because it's a bit twisted where it's followed the grain. Anyway, just look and learn, hopefully. <laughs> Pretty rough, it's good enough though. Right, there's the bed. If you look down through, you can see it's got quite a twist to it. So I've done a straight line through there. Hopefully you can just see a pencil line. I've got to try and remove that bit and then sort of plane the bed up a little bit. Okay, cheers. Reet. I'm just going to tidy the bed up with the draw knife before I mark it out to cut it up in the right dimensions. It'll all come to light. Right, let's get myself out of the sun. Hopefully you can see a centre line. I've gone three inches either side of that. 
So that's going to be six inches. There ain't much to cut out really. Hopefully I'll be able to do it with a small axe. This is a lot smaller than the um, two shave horses I've made before. Mainly because it's a smaller bit of timber. That's all I could get. Anyway, I'll catch you in a bit. There we go, that's something like it. Clean it up with a draw knife. Tickety boo, mate. There you go, to the other side. Hello and welcome back. There, what do you think of that? A wooden plane. Um, a kind lady called Teresa donated a few tools to me, which used to belong to her dad. I don't know how old it is, but let's give it a go, shall we? I have taken the blade out and sharpened it up. There we go, I haven't got to be too critical of that. I'm going to mark it out now and then drill the hole for the, um, what's it called, a bloody pivot post. Right, so it's all marked out, ready to drill the hole for the pivot post. 25mm drill bit, the old bracing bit, which was also donated by Tweezer, so thank you very much. All right, let's try it again. We've got up a little bit higher, so I can put a bit of weight on it. Does it look straight? All right, let's speed it up. Right, so after a bad start, that didn't go too bad, look. Not far off the mark, just guessing. Anyway, I'll turn the drill around and do the other side. Well, I just want to show you this little bit of kit I've made. Bit of 6B2, um, drill a 25mm hole, right on the edge, clamp the chisel, sharp chisel, and then I'm turning it round with a bit of leverage. I've got a clamp on there, flatten the edge of this round bit of timber. I think, I don't know what the timber is, I don't think it's hazel. Anyway, it's near, to, it's near enough to the right size anyway, so you haven't got to take a lot off. Let's just show you, instead of talking. This works a lot better, putting a adjustable spanner on the end instead of the clamp. There we go, live and learn. And I'll get that finished off and show, see if it goes through the hole. Alright, one pin, one hole. It gets tighter as it goes. Pretty pleased with that. Not a bad way of doing it. Anyway, I've got to get the holes drilled for the legs anyway next. Right, so welcome back. This is going to make the pivot arms. Going to make two out of this one piece of hazel. Straight that way, curve that way. I've got to see it. Hold on. And the horizontal line mark there. I've drilled, or well, started drilling out. That's the middle pivot pin, the top pin, and the bottom pin where you push your legs against. So I'm going to finish drilling them out and then try and split it to make two out of one. So wish me luck. Right, 
right, let's see how this goes. Hopefully you can see it. Middle of the road. Oh, just a smidgen over. Waste of time. A waste of time. Look at the twist on that. Right, so let's have another go at these pivot arms. Can you see they've drawn a, drew a vertical line with a pencil there? I'm just flattening the edge off both sides with my shave horse that I built a year or so ago. But it's still a hand tool, so I'm not cheating, I'm not using any power tools. You don't have to flatten this off. bit chillier today but at least it's not raining. There we go, keep that line roughly upright. Oh, I'll flip it round, be sure. I've got a line both sides of the bit of wood so Try and keep me roughly right. Something like that. Flip it over to the other side. Right, so I've got the two arms, staked them in the ground, marked out where the holes are going, clamped them up, and I'm um, ready to drill. So let's get on with it, shall we? Right, so I've drilled through to the other leg and marked it. Just got to finish off drilling this. Good thing about hand tools, is it don't make any noise when it's Sunday morning. Right, I just want to show you how I make the tenon on the um, legs for the shave horse. So we've got the bracing bit, middle of the road. Just score it like with a sharp drill, I will add. Hold on. Pencil. Just do the outline. Like eyeliner. Not that I wear eyeliner. Well, not that I tell anybody. Right. Bring it back. Just work it down to your marks. Spin it. Should fit in my dowel making machine. Basically, keep doing that, and then when it gets a bit tough, when the going gets tough, get back on your shave horse and just take a little bit more off. So you've got two and a half inches, I suppose. That's 
That's probably what I'll drill into the bed. It's basically tidy it up with your draw knife. You got a nice tenant. Right, let's see if I can split this down through. Exactly what I wanted it to see, but we carry on regardless. Yeah, it's going off a bit, a bit like me. Try a nice new one. You're gonna... Yeah, I have got a throw at that. Right. Right, so can you see that line? Down through there, that's six inches across. So I'm gonna hack that out with a little wax. Could do it with a saw, but that's a bore. All right, so I'm just shaping it up a little bit with the axe. Six inches wide. It's a little bit twisted, but Try and straighten up with the axe, hopefully. It's quite windy. And I've got a new thing on my GoPro, I think it's a media mod or something, which is meant to help with wind noise. So we'll see how this turns out. Flip him up. All right, so. Get a bit more from there. So there we go, folks. That's all in there ready. I've got to drill two holes there. Made some little wooden dowels. So I'll put the head cam on. Let's see if we can film it. Just put them on either side. Right, so let's see how quick I can put it together. So there's the finished job, all done with hand tools. Pretty pleased with it. Bash bed, hazel pivot arms, hazel legs, hazel pegs. Let's jump on and see, if, see how she rides. Nice bit of green wood always helps. <laughs> What's more satisfying than that? So 
So even though I've already built two shave horses, just wanted to make one with hand tools. It's a lot more satisfying. folks one bodger's shave horse made with only hand tools i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have enjoyed it give us a like maybe subscribe or drop me a comment until the next time i've been roy leonard goodbye